Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Sethum and welcome back to another video for Conan Exiles. So today in this video, folks, I am going to be showcasing and looking at the horse, which is currently on the test live. So not yet on the official servers, but at some point in the near future, it will be a thing. So in this video, I am going to start off by showing some of the stuff from the previous video very briefly with regards to the horse. I'm not going to go into too much detail. And then we're going to move on to several new things that I have tested and come across. So just to kind of share with you guys what the outcomes of that were so you guys can uh, know what to expect from this. And I will also show you where to find the foals for the horse and how to raise one and the requirements for raising a horse so that'll be at the end of this video so without any further ado I'm gonna get into it um, now the horse is going to change the combat and the game in general I would say quite a significant amount it is very fun to play around with and if anything, I've spent hours and I've enjoyed my hours with this horse. It is done well. It does have room for improvement. So I'm going to show some other bits as well where the horse might need some improvement. And uh, also add some of my thoughts into this. So first things first, this is the horse. It has the heavy saddle on. The saddle does not actually give it any armor. And... When you try and go through a gate, you're going to end up in the situation where you won't be able to open up the gate while you are mounted. Now, I don't know if this is a thing that was intended by the devs or if it's something that they need to look at. However, when you dismount the horse and if your horse is pretty much uh, with his face in the gate, you still cannot open the gate. You have to pretty much back up and the horse does back up as well. So I'm just kind of trying to show you that I can't actually open up the gate. So you'll have to back it up quite a significant amount and then pretty much do the opening of the gate as normal. Uh, I did show in my previous video the turning radius of this horse. Um, I'm going to do this again here because there aren't really any obstacles. So at this point in time, I'm just using the W key and turning. So when you turn the horse, you don't use the camera or the mouse you use the mouse to look around but it does not affect where the horse turns so this is a normal run and the turn radius we're going to go into a sprint right now to show you how much larger the turn radius actually is i did try and do that last time around but i did it within the space and so therefore i kind of bumped into obstacles and couldn't show it off properly however you can of course turn on the dime with the horse if you release the shift and the W key and just use the A and D keys to uh, to start. I was going to say to turn. Uh, so you can turn on the dime. If you're not moving, the horse does actually turn on the dime. So basically what you want to do is you want to sprint when you decide you want to turn. You just pretty much let go of the movement key and the sprint key and do the turning. And it will still have that momentum, but will turn more or less on the dime. The horse does have a jump and it does also have this ability to go on its rear legs and you can access its inventory and a menu by holding down the interact key so this is a fully leveled up horse and i do recommend that you have whatever it prefers in terms of food in its inventory if you're going to use it as a combat mount which you can of course it does have a trample which does do damage. Now do bear in mind, I'm going to show you the trample, but you will not be doing this damage on official servers because I do have the damage turned up for players. And once you mount the horse, it does seem to affect the horse's damage when mounted. When you dismount it, it does, of course, go back to its normal damage if the multiplier has not been increased. You do have two attacks and you can charge your attacks on the horse with a sword and you can use a lance now i'm going to go into sepa maru and i'm going to show you what happens uh, with regards to npcs and knocking them down you do want to be careful around neutral npcs and uh, places like sepa maru you don't want to aggro them if you are mounted on a horse so this is why i'm showing you because the NPCs in Sepamaru do tend to be neutral and if you accidentally bump into them whilst sprinting around 
Sepamaru, you will knock them down and do damage to them and therefore aggro the NPCs around that particular NPC that you knock down. So keep that in mind. Before I go in, I'm actually going to go into cloak mode. I don't want to end up having to fight half of Sepamaru just because I'm showing this off. So I'll just quickly do that. And we'll go in and we'll play around with this. And I kind of like how the horse maneuvers. It's different. It's going to be difficult for some people, I guess, to get used to. I think it's fun. I think it makes sense. I personally absolutely like it. So I'm going to charge at that guy and trample him down. There you go. There's the knockback. There's also a stagger. So that is going to be one of those things where I think... Uh, people will use it as an exploit so I don't know we'll see how long that lasts you can also knock down and stagger and use a attack and I don't know why the game is lagging in Sepamaru as bad as it is probably still loading certain things so there we go it does become quite powerful I do bear in mind that I have increased damage so it might take a couple of those for um, the use of s or if you're gonna use it on a server such as official servers or servers that have similar settings next up I'm gonna try and see what happens when I go into water now the horse should swim and we'll give that a go as well I think this is quite a lot of fun, especially when you are cloaked. That's pretty darn cool. I like it. Let's hope this does not get removed. I'm going to find a place to go into water. Then I'll go and see if the horse will follow me when I'm swimming or what the horse behaves like. So at the moment, I am swimming on the horse. Notice I'm not using any stamina whatsoever. And this is because I'm just using the normal movement. I am going to go into a sprint, so I'm going to press the shift key. So here we go. I don't see a significant increase in the horse's swimming speed. And in terms of animation, I kind of like that. It's kind of cute. Maybe the front legs should move a bit more, but it's okay. It's a game. Not that big of an issue. So I'm going to go for a swim. We'll see what the horse does if it follows me. And it does not. So I'm going to swim to the other end and uh, we'll see if the horse does end up swimming or does it just teleport. I'm going to guess here that it's going to teleport. Let's just find a nice patch over here. Okay. Oh, the horse has disappeared. Oh, there it is. So that's the way that'll work. But it's nice that you can actually swim on it and I like that mechanic. I kind of expected that to be a thing. Next up, I'm going to go into the unnamed city and I'm going to do the exact same charge attack or charge at enemies and particularly with the undead skeletons. All right, here we are. So I'm undead. This time is a glowy one. I'm going to charge at him. See what happens there. There's your knockback. It didn't kill it and it probably would do a lot less damage with normal damage. <clears throat> We'll do this with this guy as well. So, decent knockback. It doesn't stagger them. Oh, there come the skeletons. Let's give this a go. And I kind of killed it. So, I'm going to bring down my damage. I am still cloaked, so I'm not really worried about getting this horse killed just yet. Uh, wrong menu for that. Go into settings combat and we'll bring it right down to one which is where I'm guessing the official servers will be at let's give this another go so it does a knockback you saw what the damage is like you might want to of course combine it with a sword attack well that actually did a bit more on that one that's very interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. So, that's kind of how it works. I'm guessing it will do a knockback onto smaller creatures. 
Uh, I'm not sure about medium creatures in terms of size and uh, I haven't tested it with large creatures such as dragons. I am going to go and try out in a dungeon. So here we are with the dungeon. I'm going to spawn in the midnight potion. Or potion of midnight. We're going to go into the midnight dungeon. That seems to be a dungeon with a decent amount of space. We'll see what we can do with the horse in there. Now, the horse is a follower. And normally you can take in pets and thralls to help you fight stuff in dungeons. So we'll see exactly how this mechanic works. Okay, the horse is here. But I cannot mount it as you can see. That is very interesting. I mean, it makes sense. The horse does have a very large turning radius at times. Unless you get good at uh, turning him on the dime. I'm going to attack these hyenas and see if the horse helps me out. It might not help me because I am still cloaked. So that might be a thing. But it didn't do anything. So maybe not the best companion to bring into a dungeon. We'll try out the hyena. If I don't miss. Come on. There we go. So the horse looked at it, but it didn't do anything. Right, I'll kill this guy because I know there's three of them around here, so I don't really want to kill the horse accidentally. So, come on. I just used a uh, admin cheat on that. Get rid of you. And I'm going to remove cloak. We'll get the hyena to aggro on me. And we'll see what happens. Okay. There we go. Right, so the horse does attack it. It does not do that much damage. Probably not the best companion to bring into a dungeon. There we go. That's that sorted. I'm going to see for consistency purposes if this is the exact same thing with other dungeons. Uh, I'm probably going to go... I don't even know what dungeon I want to go in, so I'll have to figure out for, like, uh, space purposes as well. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, or maybe on second thought, there's a dungeon here, so I'll just go with the wine cellar dungeon. Uh, let's find a place to go up. I forgot that this place drops you out here, so that's fine. It works just fine. I think it'd be interesting if you could mount horses in the dungeons, but I see why the devs did that. That would definitely complicate things. I am going to go into cloak mode again. Oh, there's my horse, so it does come in the dungeon with me. Let's see if I can mount it. Nope. And I'm not going to fight or uncloak because I don't want this boss actually killing the horse yet. We still have tests to run on him. Again, if you're cloaked, the horse doesn't engage, which is interesting. Um, I remember that if I did engage while cloaked with thralls, they kind of got stuck in the battle, but this one doesn't. So I don't know. There's definitely... At least that's how I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now you can find the horse falls at tile 4 f right in the center that is where you'll want to be do keep in mind that the foals will wander about so there should be somewhere around two to one foals around this area we'll have a look to see where they are think oh there it is okay things were still spawning in so you want to grab them before something else attacks them do keep in mind that if you attack things, they may end up running off, so they probably will want to be grabbed first thing before you decide to fight anything off. I'm just going to have a look down here to make sure there's no foals. I think there tend to be maybe one to two foals. It really does depend on what's happening. But this is the area that you want to be. This is also the camp that has uh, a lot of... So there's a thrall camp or an NPC camp. And there's like the alligators where they fight all the time. There's another one right here. So you just walk up to them and then interact with them to pick them up like you would any other small animal that you can tame. Alternately, you can put them in your own thralls or pets or horses inventory. 
should you be struggling for weight so that's a thing and then once you do that you'll need to have stables to raise them in so we'll get into that next bit in a bit here we are back at base now with regards to raising your foal you will need two things you will need the stable and then once it is up you will want the saddle workbench and that will allow you to craft the saddles that you'll need for it do bear in mind that they are quite expensive also while i'm here i did find some other saddle designs that i didn't show in the previous video with regards to the horses and thralls and this is one of them this looks really nice i do like it i mean it looks really really nice and then I'll show off the other one. That's the Achillean saddle that I'm going to be showing now. So let's take this one off. I'm going to put this one on the horse. Notice that the armor values do not change when it has no saddle. So just to point that out, the saddle does not offer armor. So I'm just backing up what I said in the previous video. This is what this saddle looks. Again, really nice in design. I like it. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's nice to look at. I'm not so sure about the spikes on the sides of the saddle itself. I think those could potentially do some damage to the rider, but I'm going to put back the previous saddle because I kind of like that one. It looks more like an armored horse, although it's just for aesthetic reasons. I feel like, and I've said it in my previous videos, uh, it's not the first time I'm saying it now, I feel like the saddle itself should also offer some sort of an armor value maybe that's going to be a thing that will be added when it goes live sometimes the things on test live don't necessarily tend to be the full uh content so let's have a look at what you will need for the saddle over here you can craft it at level 20 so that is basically the level you'll need to be to be able to ride a horse although you'll be able to find one and tame one earlier on than that same thing this is where you unlock the uh, saddle workbench, work table. And this will, of course, allow you to craft the saddles that you see here, which, again, you will have to unlock. And as you can see, they do cost points to unlock. Look at down here. There are some additional saddles that have the DLC icon. So this kind of tells me that with the release of this or shortly after the the release of this particular update there will also be a dlc that will offer more cosmetic saddles it'll be interesting to see what they look like now with regards to crafting the stables uh they're not in here so i got that one wrong i think they should be over here you will find them down here in the thrall taker and it is the second one you need to be level 15 for that once you craft the stables you can then place it down in your base and it isn't all that big compared to the taming pins which is quite nice once you have placed down your saddler's work table you can then start crafting saddles you can see all the saddles that you have unlocked by putting points into them and you can put a thrall in it to reduce the cost and i do mean significantly reduce the cost of course this is a named thrall so it's a tier 4 thrall this is what the saddles cost without a thrall and obviously the better the thrall the higher the tier of thrall you put in the more it reduces the cost for the saddles each saddle will have different requirements for materials so i'll be spending a couple of seconds here to show them off I'm going to show you the cost differences with and without a tier 4 thrall. So this is it. As you can see, the thrall that I've put in is, of course, a tier 4 armor or thrall. So that seems to do the trick. We'll go through all of the saddles. Just to kind of... I kind of lost my chain of thought there as to where I was with the saddle. So I just went back on them. I do apologize if I did repeat myself, didn't mean to. I do want to kind of cover all of the different uh, in costs with regards to crafting the saddles. 
I have played around with the thralls and I can tell you that they're at this point in time on the test live server and single player there aren't or I didn't find at least any thralls that gave any special saddles like your legendary or something like that but it might be a thing at some point in the future with regards to raising your foals you can only place one foal in the stables at time as you can see here and with regards to food it does like the fiber it will consume one fiber for one foal to level up now i do have things sped up although the foals are of the same color and design as you will see once they have become horses they will have different colors and designs so that's quite nice it would be nice to get some greater horses or horses that have more hp again that might be at some point uh possible in the future it depends maybe it, they've already had that set up but they're not showing it they're holding back some information on the test live who knows but i would like to see horses with more hp or greater horses i think there's definitely a thing that uh, the devs could do with the game we've got a different looking horse over here we'll take this guy out we'll put this one in here as well and i'm gonna show you a bonus trick after this with regards to the foals and horses as well this is something that i showed in a separate video but i'll show it in this as well because the foals have a spoil timer if you don't raise them by the time that timer has ended you end up with a horse carcass i believe or a foal carcass or something like that and if you don't place your horse down within that spoil timer it will end up dying and it will become a horse carcass just as a thought so there you go three different variations from the same design of foals now if you want to preserve them for later you just need a preserving bin in which you will need to have ice and basically this works with any of the pets and even i believe thralls i think with most things in the game you want to keep them you just put them in there notice that there isn't a spoil timer anymore on the horses if i put it back in my inventory we've got the spoil timer and then to place it down you place it down as you would any thrall or pet place it in your action bar then press the key associated with that slot to place it down overall my thoughts are that this is an amazing download and update to the game and i cannot wait to see it go live uh, i did have to be fairly honest some concerns with the horse and how it would play into the game it's not much faster than a player which is good it is slightly a bit faster but then it doesn't actually break the game with regards to moving around the map so i like the way that's been balanced i really like the animations for the horse and the design and i really like the combat mechanics for the horse as well i would say that there are room or there is room for improvement I think that when it goes on its rear uh, legs and does the kick that should do some damage or you could use that as a way of knocking out thralls that's an, you know it gives that animation some use just as a thought also I think that could be nice to be combined with a weapon attack and obviously there are a few small issues where the horse does tend to get stuck on small stones and uh stomps on the f on the ground and stuff like that which i think it should not be the case anything above where its middle legs are it shouldn't really struggle that much with i think the collision on the horse needs to be slightly tweaked but maybe that'll happen at some point in the future who knows 
that is it from me for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and if you have please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content to the channel also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Setopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description, as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.